Hawaiian rainbow. Yeah, a little bit of Hawaiian rain. Yeah. We just finished planting up rows of coffee out front of the house over here. We got uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six rows, I think, there. And then in the background, along the road fence, we got some bananas just got put in. Given a few more years and the rows in front of the house uh, will start to look like the ones back here, rather substantial. Uh, these are about uh, five years old. They've, they've been pruned once already. Uh, we've got all sorts of ages heading towards the rear of the property out there. Yeah. Right over here, dangling in the coffee plants, I've got a vanilla orchid. That's one of the uh, latest projects here is the attempt to try to see if we can raise vanilla. Right there. Seems a pretty easy grow. See whether we get beans off them or not. Oh, bananas edging the backyard here. Now they're very prolific in this area. We get a lot of fruit off banana. There are the wind breaks for my nursery table. And we got coffee that will be ready to go out into the field in April. Here I have more coffee. It should be ready for about October. Get some other out of sorted things here, fruit trees and taro and such. But coffee's the main point here in the nursery right now until I get done planting the fields. There's a clump of lemongrass that's going to have to come out. Going to put the garden shed in this area, along with the papayas out there in the background. I never planted those; they up and popped out of my compost. There's a uh, Tahitian lime, bearing nicely. And some Owari Satsuma mandarin. With pineapples on the earth underneath. And the white pineapples are everywhere around here. Oh boy, do they grow. I've managed to strip most of the fruit off of the yellow dragon fruit out here. I got a, I got a few more pieces left to eat, but mostly it's gone. Oh, it's first crop, very nice crop. Four years from a seed on these. Well, looks like I've got some stems come down I'll have to deal with over there. Now right over there is the kukui nut or candle nut. That tree is four years old from a seed. And unbelievable how fast those will grow. And we've got blood oranges behind our koa trees. Right over here in the foreground with the red leaves, that's Jabotacaba. They take forever to come into bearing. We're near Hilo, Hawaii. This is uh, one of the rainier places in the United States. Um, watering our plants here is not required. It's a tropical environment. Almost anything from pineapples to bananas to papayas and so on will grow here. Here comes that rain. Uh, it's amazing how much rain we can get here. The rain makes everything thrive. Growing seeds here, growing cuttings, putting plants in, all of that is so easy. Um, gardeners who've had the experience in other climates in the United States uh, probably would have a hard time visualizing how easy it is to raise things here in Hawaii. Here in the in the foreground we got some epidendron orchids and little bromeliads and stuff down here along the house wall. And steps up to 
citrus trees understoried with pineapples and jaboticabas moves back to coffee there in the background. And up behind it we've got uh, cacao, the tree the chocolate comes from, and then the taller plants in the back there are macadamia nuts. Uh, that's a mountain apple right there, one of the Hawaiian traditional fruits. Brought here on the canoes, I believe. Coffee ripening out, screaming out to be picked. Uh, here we got pineapples, and next to it over there, uh, sweet potatoes. All kind of mixed fruit trees here. This is abiyu and bananas and pulasan and rolinia and mame apple. All kinds of stuff out here.